First full day here. I got here yesterday. Got here yesterday. Uh, this morning it is a little after 7 a.m. This morning I'm walking down to the marina to go on a boat to go snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. Originally I was going to do a dive, but to save some money slash I still have some congestion in my ears, I decided just to do snorkeling, which will still fit the bill. So anyway, welcome, and I will take you along. I walked down to the main marina to catch my boat for my snorkeling tour. There are a ton, and I, when I say a ton, I mean a ton of various day boats and overnight boats you can take to go snorkeling or diving on the Great Barrier Reef. They all kind of offer pretty much the same thing with a few differences here and there, but honestly you can pretty much go with any of them and have a great time they do go to different locations on the reef but i believe that they actually communicate with each other and rotate but anyway my hostel host recommended passions and i booked this pretty last minute i booked it honestly the day before but um i had a fantastic time with passions so the price included two snorkels and lunch, a snack, a informational talk with a guide after you did all the snorkeling slash diving, and your obviously your boat to and from the sites. And let me just say, snorkeling or diving on the Great Barrier Reef has always been a bucket list item of mine. Not just a travel bucket list, but a bucket list bucket list. So being able to do this was just absolutely a dream come true. My footage is not the best, I do apologize. It's actually very wavy out there, so definitely just keep that in mind. And also, I just I tried to color correct the best I could, but it was very difficult. But I was able to see some absolutely beautiful fish. I actually saw a small shark, which I believe was in this video, but it was very difficult to pick up on. And I also saw a turtle, which I'll point out in a moment here, but it is just a different world down there. And I highly, highly, highly recommend you go and do this because it was just incredible. And next time I want to go with my scuba certification so I can dive. Absolutely. For sure. Oh, and here is a turtle. If you look very closely, you can see him. It was, That was definitely something I wanted to see. And I saw him right at the last second on my second snorkel. The next day, I just another bucket list item. And I went skydiving. And you can see how it went here. Hey, Katie. How are you today? Good. Good. What are we doing now? We're gonna go skydiving. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little nervous, but uh, I'm ready. Why not? I mean, let's take on the fear of flying and jump out of a plane. <laughs> nice. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Woo! Yes, here we go.
still alive. Yes. How was that? It was great. Thank you so Fine. much. You did great. <laughs> Trusted you for life. We made it. Really? Thanks. <laughs> See you next time. Honestly, I never thought I'd be able to go skydiving because of my fear of flying, but honestly, jumping out of the plane was not that scary. I trusted my instructor, and the team over at Karen Skydiving was absolutely amazing. If you have the opportunity to do a jump over the reef, I highly recommend it. Definitely checked off another thing on my bucket list. Good morning. It is a little after 6.30 this morning. Pretty quiet, but today I am headed to a midday tour to Cape Tribulation with Uncle Brian's and it's a very long day <laughs> and very early but this is like my last group tour I think of the trip so uh, I'm very excited I've been told to Cape Tribulation is something you have to do so I'm so excited to see maybe some crocs see waterfalls and, and all that nature so i'll bring you along with me i know i haven't really been vlogging the past few places i've been just because i was sick and then uh, just been busy since i've been here but anyway um i'm gonna try to wake up a bit try to look a little bit better but i think it's gonna be a really fun day and i'll bring you along and um yeah let's go on a tour at 7 a.m I can't do these early mornings much longer. <laughs> After two back-to-back -back days of checking major items off my bucket list, I went on a day tour of Keep Tribulation and the Daintree Rainforest with Uncle Brian's tours. And it was a great day. It was a long day, but it was a fantastic day. So our guide, Brian, no relation to the Uncle Brian, took us to many locations within the Daintree Rainforest. As you can see, Rainforest was living up to its name and there was rain, but it did clear up, thank goodness, later in the day. But our first stop was to basically the Daintree Rainforest, and we went to this swimming location where there was a place, an opportunity for you to climb up on a tree and swing from a rope and jump in. I will admit, I just did not feel like getting wet this day, and it was kind of cold, but everyone seemed to be having fun. And then we went on a lot of nature hikes through the rainforest and learned a lot about it. And what the aboriginals used to do, they used to eat the ginger and eat the seeds, right? But what they did, they dropped the seeds when they walked. So this was their way to get around in the bush everywhere. So they had to turn somewhere, they dropped some ginger bush and get a ginger there. So they just walked between the clumps of ginger. Uh -huh. can, that's how they used to get around the rainforest so without nice. paths and... And this here, this is a uh, strangler fig. It just starts off as a little little fig that just starts growing up and it'll go around and keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. That'll get to a point where it'll actually choke that tree to death and it will die in there. And then you'll just mm. get left with the, the skeleton, the exoskeleton of this, and it'll just keep growing. There's a tree up at, um, on the tablelands, it's about 500 years old and you can climb in it and it's got sections and everything. Over in uh, the Philippines and things like that, you used to um, if there was one of these by a, tr uh, a creek or something like that, they used to hollow the, the section out and then just push the whole thing over and make a natural bridge. After looking through the rainforest, we actually walked over to Cape Tribulation, which this is a place that was recommended to me early in my trip from someone when I believe I was in Bondi that said that you have to do this. And I agree. It is really beautiful out there. Our guide Brian also told us how the name of Cape Tribulation came and it's just a great tour and just a great time to go out there. As you can see the weather cleared up and we also got to taste some fresh coconut which was pretty cool. So overall the day was fantastic. Like I said it was a long day but the tour was pretty comprehensive. It included a snack, some lunch, obviously your guide, your bus, and all that. It also included this crocodile spotting activity, which to be honest, living in Florida, I don't get so excited about crocs and alligators, but everyone else was really excited. So I mean, it was difficult to not be a little bit excited but we saw a few small ones but the big one was hiding we did see it but I didn't get a really good video of it um, but it was it was still pretty fun but not as good apparently 
as the group that went just before us because I got to see the really big one. But overall, it was a fantastic time. I definitely recommend Uncle Brian's. They do have a two-day tour if you want to do that as well. I really only wanted to do one day because I was pretty tired after two days prior of just action-packed activities. But not too tired to not go out that evening. I met a friend on the tour and we went out. Also met up with some friends I met earlier in my trip and we just had a great time. I know the video doesn't really show that it was that hopping, but believe me, the videos I had to not include for to be PG here. The next day, I just had a leisurely day before heading out for the evening. <laughs> The quality is probably really, really bad, but haven't really vlogged since I've been here. But it is my last night here in Cairns, so I'm going out. I'm not gonna have too crazy of a night, hopefully. Um, but first, I'm going to the night market just to check it out, see what it's all about. Had a pretty chill day here today. I've been was pretty tired after three days of just go, go, go. So, anyway. We're gonna see what the night market's about and then see where the night takes us, meet up with a friend, and yeah, we'll see what we get into. But I definitely feel like the vlogging has dropped off <laughs> since I was sick. So anyway, let's enjoy our final night here. The night markets are pretty cool. Honestly, it's like pretty much any other night market I've been to, but there's a lot of various stores and places to eat and it's kind of like a catch-all you can pretty much find anything here but yeah i mean definitely check it out but it is a lot like other night markets i've been to in my travels over the years but after the night markets i met up with my friend and then we went back to gilligan's and we went to a few other places and it was just a fun night then the next day, I just had a leisurely day before heading to the airport in the afternoon to head back down to Sydney and Bondi. But overall, I really enjoyed my time in Cairns. It was definitely very action-packed, but definitely got to check some items off my bucket list, and I can't wait to return again in the future. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow my social media channels there on the screen. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Remember to wander far and wander often. It is my last day here in Australia, in Sydney, Bondi, etc. We have an update. I'm supposed to go home tomorrow. But guess who's not going home tomorrow? Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret